Chair of the Township. Um, today I'd like to get started. I'd like to call to order a uh, Thorn Township meeting. Today is September 24th, 2024, and the time is 6.09 p.m. Uh, please call her. Trustee Jones? Absent. Trustee Carlisle? Present. Trustee Gonzalez? Present. Trustee Darling? Absent. Supervising you? Present. Uh, next, is everybody to stand for pledge? And to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Next, we have approval minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from the Board of Meeting Council on the 10th, 2024, and 6th? Is there a motion? Motion. And a second. Second. And motion and second. Any discussion? Call her. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Yes. Um, next, we have old business, and we're going to start with the number one uh, topic, which is bingo. Um, today, we're talking about bingo because I know the residents really, really appreciate bingo. They love bingo, and they want to see it continue here at Fort Township. So I am seeking approval from the trustees to continue bingo uh, every month here at Fort Township. Is there a motion to approve bingo uh, month? Is there a motion? All right, I'd like to make a motion to approve monthly bingo for our seniors, our residents throughout Fort Township. Is there a second? Trustees? Do y'all not want to continue being up? Um, I was thinking it only for purposes of the session. All right, it's been motion second. Um, go ahead. Um, so I did uh, reach out to the attorneys concerning bingo because that's been a big conversation um, going on lately. And so originally uh, when bingo was presented, it was presented that all the prizes were donated. But that is not the case. The prizes for bingo are being purchased by Thornton Township. And now there's a question as to whether each person receiving a gift over or a prize over $600 should um, fill out a 1099 form. And so um, we haven't received a final answer on that. And so I think it's important until we get the final details, we pause on those things. And um, let's say, for instance, you know, we don't know the findings, but just ethically, we have to ask ourselves questions. Should we be doing this? Yes, bingo is a great opportunity for seniors to come and to participate and have you know fun amongst their peers. However, there is a lot of money being spent on bingo, and what are we doing to um, you know improve our entitlement programs? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. And not only that, but seniors um, play a large part in the voters' base. So. Um, Bingo, us canceling bingo or pausing um, is not neglecting the seniors, um, and changing the rules is not disenfranchising the seniors as well. Um, you know, we're just taking a moment to stop to make sure that the rules and laws are being followed. And again, I think it's important for us as trustees to make sure that we reduce any liability to Dory Township and its employees. So we have to stop for a second and ask ourselves those questions. All right, so as it relates to bingo, it's amazing how you guys all of a sudden want to stop something that has been going on since I've been into the supervisor at Thorne Township. Um, before, you guys stated, hey, um, we don't think we can do it because it's gaming issues. So what did we do? We reached out to the gaming board, the revenue board, to make sure that we did not um, do what we supposed to do, which I announced this at the last board meeting, that before we started bingo, we reached out to them. We reached out across the street to South Holland, and we followed every protocol possible so that residents can have bingo. Now, today, you guys come up with something else. Oh, well, they need to fill out a 1099. They need to fill out a form. They need to do this. They need to do that. It's their money going back, back to them. What is wrong with that? How can you have a problem with residents getting their money back? their money back. So it shouldn't be an issue for you guys to sit here and pause something, and then you said something crucial. You said voting block. What does that got to do with them coming, loving on each other? You even was down here with them calling out bingo numbers. So what is the problem all of a sudden that you guys are using political uh, campaign stuff to say why you don't want to have bingo all of a sudden stopping something? And as I said, what God has for you is for you. Bingo was a huge success. The people lined up down here. We have 500 people. And as I always say, news, where were you? You weren't in the building. 
witness. But had y'all asked me for exclusive interviews to come out and talk to me, for what? Come and talk to the people that matter. Come and talk to the people that's actually being affected by bingo. Because bingo is more than just prizes like they're trying to make it about. It's about love. It's about community. It's about unity. It's about everybody loving on each other throughout the world township. That's what bingo's about. Y'all missing the point. It got nothing to do with prizes, because guess what? Even though they had prizes, they were still down here packed. Yeah, it was packed. True. And y'all didn't come. And you would have saw that, and you would have heard from them. And if anybody down here that wanted to talk as related to Bingo, because I invited the residents out, so just so you can see what I deal with when I'm fighting for things for you that you really love and enjoy doing here at Thornton Township. Before, y'all didn't have nothing like that. Nothing. And now we made a way for you guys to unify amongst the 17 communities that we have here at Thornton Township. And now this board, this dysfunctional board, wants to take it away. That's sad because they got nothing else to do. It's sad when people want to take away things from people that's actually doing the work. People want to take away from people that's doing the work, but yet alone don't have nothing to do for you, residents. It's a way for you guys to, to come and celebrate uh, with one another, and I love that. I love it. So I apologize that the board don't want to uh, continue bingo. Um, Carmen was a part of the administration, as I've always said before, so it amazed me that she's now singing a different tune. So I wonder who got her strings in a bunch. But all I'm saying to you is that we always did was right. We always ran everything through the attorneys, and we always ran everything through um, the village or uh, the city that we are in. So uh, for the set my heart that y'all want to continue bingo, uh, I wish you guys would change your vote to continue bingo here at Dorian Township. I know the residents do love it. Uh, come on, Robert, go, go to the mic. Oh, I just, um... What's he doing? She just said one thing. Okay, guys, don't start that today. We here to handle the business. Y'all are out of order. We have an ordinance in place that if you're out of order, you will be removed from this meeting. Every meeting, y'all have to come down here with that. We're here to handle the business and not let the business handle us. So let us get through our agenda. Y'all can leave and go outside with all that. All right, go uh, ahead, Robert. I just want to uh, address one thing that Trustee Carlisle said might be miscommunication. Um, when we did check with the boards about the um, bingo, we, we never told them that the prize were donated. We, we do have communication Correct. that the township was purchased. I just want to make sure that just saying what you said, we, we have documentation. If they say we lying or whatever, but we, I don't want you to say that we trick people and make them seem like we said the prize. I'm just letting you know. Um, that might be a miscommunication, but we, we do have documentation that does show that. Well, I'm just saying that's the information that I received. No, you're always lying. She's always lying. Yeah, and now okay. since she don't want to give being a few people, and we did it before. Continue what we've always done, which is be here for the people, provide for the people, make a way for things that they did not have, that they actually enjoy, and they benefit from their own money. I've never seen a group, a board, a board member that care so much about who's doing it instead of joining and helping um, make sure we are a success together. I never saw that, because before y'all was all together, now it's all the time, because it's election time, huh? Like you said, voting, right? It's election time, now you want to divide and conquer. It's not going to work, because the people see through the mess, and that's what we are. So are you guys going to amend um, the motion and vote for bingo? Or you still if I miss, I, um, not only with this, but with just a lot of other things, we we'll always hear about this documentation, but we never seem to see it. Um, so that's my first point. Second of all, um, we could have bingo without large prizes or any prizes, actually. And then, while well, we get everything figured out, we could just keep going and still have it. At the end of the day, you guys always want to stop progress. That's the problem I got with my board. Y'all want to stop things that actually are huge success, because I don't see none of y'all bringing in numbers like that. And y'all been here longer than me. So when I came, we created this for our residents, and it's been a huge success. We have over 500 people. They come here, they get a cooked meal that they enjoy. Little do y'all know, some of the meals are people only meal for the day. But yet you want to stop being them, because you think it's such um, too many prizes. You think it's all about prizes. It's more than that, and Carmen knows that she was down with her taking in it. So was Jerry Jones, and Chris, you come for the photo op, so I don't know. But all I'm saying is that I just appreciate if you guys will take a step back, look in the mirror, and say, hey, I got to do what's right for the people. 
and make sure that the people benefit from bingo like they have always done and not change that all of a sudden because again it's election time so we gotta stop anything going great in Thorn Township because remember when I got here y'all numbers was down when I got here all the numbers went up due to what being uh, productive making sure that we're available for the people that's what it's all about so okay y'all are gonna vote for it uh, do we got a problem for the discussion Yes, we need a roll call. All right, roll call. So what is this a roll call for? Set for the discussion, so. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee? I'm sorry, what was this? This is a motion to approve the bingo. No, this, oh, no, you said it was a motion for roll call. You said something else, that's why I'm asking. So, you said this, so this yeah, is the motion. No, there was a motion and a second to approve under old no. business bingo. Okay, so my so, response is no. You said discussion. Trustee Gonzalez? No. Supervisor Yes. <laughs> Motion failed. Yeah. Motion still failed, so guess what? Bingo! Yeah. 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 I learned how to count. Yeah. 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 Next on the agenda is Gospel Fest. All right, is there a motion to approve um, the Gospel Fest? It failed. <laughs> is there a motion? I'll motion to approve the gospel. Is there a second? Is there a second? No second? All right, so I'm going to talk about gospel fest. So we approve gospel fest, so I can educate. That's why I was saying, let me educate y'all. So let me educate everybody, because everybody don't understand what goes on around here. We approve gospel fest on August 24th of 2023. We had every single person up here, which is shocking. Even Chris Gonzalez voted for Gospel Fest today. So Gospel Fest was supposed to happen, but unfortunately we had a storm. That's when we had to call FEMA out and we had to change um, directions of what we had planned. It was already planned, it was already approved, budget for, uh, check cut, all of the above, right? So we stopped because the people needed us more. And we had to make sure we made a way and we created a FEMA shelter in the village of Dawson at the new police station. And then we also did one here in this same very space. And that's the reason why we did not have the gospel fest. So what bothers me is why do we have to put something that's already approved by the board back on the agenda for a second approval? Because remember, it didn't pass the budget. We're still uh, working out of the same budget that the Gospel Fest was approved. So why is it back on the agenda for approval when you guys already approved it? Like I said, on August, I just said, 24th. <laughs> so why do we have to do that, attorney? It's my understanding these events are being presented pursuant to the new event ordinance that was approved. Okay, so if we already approved it, we don't have to re-approve it, correct? If the event was approved on August 24th of 2023, you don't have to read through? Um, no. What I said was these events are being presented to the board in, 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 in compliance with the new event ordinance. That's my understanding. As though it's new? Is that what you're saying? Yes, the new event ordinance that was just put into place at one of the prior meetings within the past month or so. Right, so, okay, I just want to make sure we're crystal clear so they understand and I understand in the crowd. So, by this already being approved in the old um, budget, it's safe to say it's already approved. I don't have to go back again before the board, correct? No, these matters are being brought before the board now to comply with the new event ordinance because these these are events that have to be approved pursuant to the new event ordinance. Right, but only time that you have to go uh, forward is when you put in something new and then whatever from that day moving forward is what you go from. So if this was already approved prior to, it should not be affected by what's new. I understand what you're saying, but I disagree. The event ordinance has pressing issues. These events have to be approved pursuant to the event ordinance. Okay, so I, I disagree with what the Lloyd is saying. 
I put this on there because I just want to point out what we do. We go back and forth over who agree, who disagree, and then it goes a little further. When we disagree, we go out of our comfort here on this time we end up in court because we want to say, hey, if a board approves something, how can now the board come back and say it's not approved based off of the orders? The orders just went into effect now. That's like when somebody tried to go take something from you. They make it effective now. They can't go back. But right now, they're saying we're going backwards. Impossible. Just like with bills. Uh, it's bills that they approved already. That last board meeting, you heard them read off that whole list from all the way from Father's Day. To me, that's impossible. You approved it all the way back then. How is you coming here now saying, oh, well, we're not going to approve it now? It's already spent. It's already done. It's already back then. So I disagree with uh, what he's saying. And that, that's my um, statement. Now, um, they just bought me something because we did reach out and they were just telling us about the bingo and the prizes. And it's just an email if anybody wants it. Um, and it tells you that everything was up to code, um, nothing was in violation here at the Township to have bingo, and that we can have bingo moving forward. So that's what that was. Thank you so much for that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. Oh my God, I could have read this one. It says that yes, uh, Thornton Township can purchase bingo prizes using Thornton Township funds. For the public. That's what it says here in the uh, email that they gave us. Thank you, Robbie. But yeah, I just said it. I said y'all can have a copy of it. So I don't know if y'all didn't hear me. Now I'll repeat it. Everybody can have a copy of it because we did do our job, do our work. Okay, next up, if you can you know who that's from because the board never received that information. Uh, this is from Delgado. Yeah, this is from the lawyers. When did they say? Because the last folks of the attorney today they said they were still looking into the memo. That's not true. That's what I say. Yeah, you I say it's not true. But I, I said it's Thursday, August 12, 2022. Like I told you before, when we did our homework for this, we did everything. We did everything, and we got documentation stating we did everything. It said that somebody that desperate to say no to bingo. Oh my God, just stop it. Here's the evidence right here, seeing we can do it. I'm done. And I spoke to the attorney today, today and they said they're still looking into it. So that's a false statement. That's not a false statement. I got documentation. Documentation from August. Don't lie. We're talking about September. And I'm talking about now. This, that, that's not true. Your statement is false. It's so sad you got so much hatred in your heart. But anyway, moving on. And it's still not from the Gaming Commission. Next is approval of bills. Is there a motion to approve the general fund? Yeah, we did approve the general fund. Yeah, we did. But it said, don't try to explain nothing. They ain't gonna get it, they ain't gonna change it. We know, I just said it. You got it from the revenue, you got it from the gaming, you got it from everybody, they still saying no. So whatever. We still gonna move on to bingo. Next is general fund. Is there a motion to approve the general fund? Is there a motion to pay the bills? I have an amended list that I would like to pay on the general fund. Okay, well make sure you name what you don't want to pay. And I'm gonna name the numbers and I'll send it to the clerk. That's, for that's not how that goes. You gotta it be how it's not. Um, so I make a motion that we pay the general fund excluding the following one through 119, which are all credit card bills, so those items are already paid, and then uh, 206 through 252, um, 258. Um, that's when I make the motion to pay all the bills excluding those numbers I mentioned, and I'll get uh, the clerk an email of what I excluded. Okay, Can you let me tell you something about transfers. So what they need to do is tell y'all what they're taking away, but they never do. And that's what you should pay attention to, residents. You wanna have it they way, but don't wanna show you the way. And Robert Hunt, you ready to read into record what she it's says? It's exactly the same thing Robert read last time. It don't matter, right. he's gonna read it again because you should have read it because you the one took it out. So Robert, Robert, you have a hand. How do you have a order, trustee? You have a order. Come on, uh, Robert, let's read. Read what they're taking out once again. There's a motion and second. And that's fine. I make a motion to end discussion and call a vote. Second. Go ahead, Robert. Go ahead, Robert. All right, go ahead, Robert. We have a first and a second in discussion. You don't even have a vote, so please stop. Go ahead, Robert. There is a motion to end discussion, and there's going to be a vote on that at any time. Go ahead, Robert. Go ahead, Robert. Go ahead, Robert. Number one, Amazon. 
$25.08 tissue and pens. Number two, uh, Ford imprint, $26,125.84. Clear book bags. Number three, a steel, $3,985. Tents and wet tent weights. Number four, Amazon, $169.99. Upstream, 3.2 cubic foot bridge. Number five, Amazon, $229.94. Zero gravity chairs. Number six, Amazon, $426. Adjustable steel mesh. Number seven, Amazon, $59.30. Coffee, number eight, Amazon, $126.96. Um, bingo balls, number nine, Amazon, $14.87. Hot cocoa mix, number 10, Amazon, $19.26. Sugar packets, number 11, Amazon, $116.91. Bingo table covers, number 12, Amazon, $79.85. Donut kisses. 13. Amazon, $99.95. Buffet food warmers. 14. Amazon, $137.58. Golden wagon car. 15. Amazon, $382.07. Countertop ice maker. 16. Amazon, $160.98. Bingo game set. 17, Amazon, $99.56. Raffle ticket. 18, Amazon, $140.97. Rich bands. 19, Amber Rita, $300 New Summit. 20, BLT Entertainment, $1,200. Uh, Texas Joint Township Comedian. 21, Bouncer Triangle Party Rental, 2100. Picnic Bounce House, 22, Bouncer Triangle Party Rental. $1,975 bounce house, 23 call hub, 1,000 call center, 24 call hub, 2,500 call center, 25 Calumet Bakery, $66 senior home bingo cake, 26, 26 Calumet City Bakery, $47.40 um, bingo, uh, uh, bingo cake, 27 Calumet City, $66 LMW Student Workers Lunch Cake, 28, Calumet City Bakery, $47.40, Senior Home Bingo Cake. 29, Calumet City Bakery, $47.40, Senior Home Bingo Cake. 30, Calumet City, $66, Bingo Cake. 31, Calumet City, I mean, I'm sorry, not Calumet City, Calumet Bakery, $47.40, Senior Home Bingo. 32, Calumet Bakery, $96, Bingo. Bingo Cake. 33, Calumet Bakery, $47.40, Forty cents bingo cake. Thirty-four Chicago black car. One hundred twenty-six dollars and sixty cents. Transportation. Chicago thirty-five Chicago black car. One hundred twenty-six dollars and sixty cents. Transportation. Thirty-six Chicago black car. Three hundred four dollars and forty-six cents. Transportation. Thirty-seven Chicago black car. One hundred twenty-six dollars and sixty cents. Transportation. Thirty-eight Chicago black car. Seventy dollars and eighty cents. Transportation. 39, Chicago Black Car, $494, transportation. 40, Chicago Moonwalk, $4,824.17, tax rise. 41, Chicago Special Events, $817.65, tax golf cart. 42, Constant Contact, $227, email marketing. 43, Constant Contact, $227, uh, Constant Contact. 44, Constant Contact, $227, email marketing. 45, constant contact, $64.52. Uh, email marketing, 46, constant contact, $477. Email marketing, $47, Dollar Tree, $27.44. Dinner kitchen supplies, 48, Emmanuel, Banzi, uh, 3,000, video services, 49, Emmanuel, Banzi, 2,500, media, media service, 50, family dollar, $12.95, back to school food utensils, 51 family dollar, $87.25. Tents of Thorn Township supplies. $52 fixed money. $1,548 computer subscription. $53 food for less, $20.34. Tents of Thorn extra, extra buns. 
54 food for less $30.54. Um, Texas Jordan food. 55 get rooted in premium LLC, $3,220 banner. 56 giant beauty supply, $196.04. Back to school hair braider supplies. 57 Gordon food service store, $702.88. Back to school food supplies. 58 Gordon food service store, $118.67. Back to school food supplies. 59 Gordon food service store, $470.83. Back to school food supplies. 60 quarter food service supplies, $429.83. Back to school food. 61, $495.91. Taste of, taste of Jordan food. 61 quarter food services, $108.92. Taste of Jordan food and supplies. 63 hit guy, $900 meter service. 64 hit guy. Um, $1,425 professional services, 65 hit guide, $1,275 professional services, 66 hit guide, $2,550 professional service, 67 jewels, $289.50, bingo gift cards, 68 jewels, $539.88, bingo food, 69 jewels, $290.75, dessert cup, 70 JJ fish and chicken, $73.51, food, 71 Jordan Gracia, $525 new summit. 72 Kashi Boston Fancy, 2000 meter service. 73 Kashi Boost Boston Fancy, 1600 meter service. 74 Kevin Falk, 3000 video service. 75 Lulu Pink, $18.73 pair braider. 76 National Driver, $1960.33 website. Peach Fresh Market. $94.58 food for entertainment, 78 powerful bouncy house, $600 senior picnic bouncy house generator, 79 recorded hit entertainment, $2411.55 uh, community relations back to school event, 80 recorded hit $5055.98 taste rise, 81 ride entertainment 1000 events, 80 sales club direct $149.40 Bingo prizes, 83. Sam's Club Direct, $176.62. Bingo supplies, 84. Sam's Club Direct, $219.86. Kitchen store supplies, 85. Sam's Club Direct, $416.56. Graphic school food supplies, 86. Sam's Club Direct, $117.86. Graphic school suit supplies, 87. Sam's Club Direct, $29.88. Senior bingo gift cards, 88 cents, got direct $316.14. Bingo prize gift card, 89 cents, got direct $379.38. Um, food is surprise, 90 cents, got direct $151.46. Big bingo dinner supplies, 91 cents, got direct $89.64. Team bingo surprise, 92 cents, got direct $421.52. Bingo gift cards, 93 cents per direct, $316.14. Um, gift cards, 94 cents per direct, negative $29.88. Senior bingo supplies, 95 cents per direct, $41.946. Kitchen storage, 96 cents per direct, $167.88. Um, food, 97 cents per direct, $90.40. Taste of Thornton, 98. Santee Shane Jr. $8,913.95 sounds for taste. 99 cents for Shane Jr. $8,425 sounds for taste. 100 Cherie Moss, $1,000 RB Taste J Holiday. One, 101 Special Events, $817.65 Taste Authority. 102 Teleformer, $155.93. Royal Ranger, 103 The DJ Experience, $1,341.60. Entertainment 104, the DJ Experience $330.24, Taste Cook 105, the Warehouse Food Market $42.19, Food Supplies 106, the Warehouse Food Market $65.36, Food Snow Cone 107, the Walgreens $147.75, Gift Card 108, Walgreens $144.75, Bingo Gift Card 109, Walmart $140, Student Appreciation Gift Card 110 Walmart $30.74 Food 
worker appreciation, 111 Walmart, $144.75. Dinko gift cards, 112 Walmart, Christian utensils, 113 Walmart, $1,250. Big bingo prizes, 1400 Walmart, $527.26. Bingo prizes, gift card, 115 Walmart, $97.64. Supplies, 116 Walmart, $269.10. Seeing a bingo supplies, 117 really keep now, 1500 Entertainment, 111 Winston Nelly, 1100 DJ Service, 119 Jemani Harrington, $750 base payment. Two hundred six three L Media LLC one hundred twenty five dollars. Event photographer two hundred seven three L Media six hundred dollars photographer service two hundred eight Angela Career three thousand event planner two hundred nine BLT Entertainment twelve hundred comedian two hundred ten BLT Entertainment twelve hundred comedian two hundred eleven BLT Entertainment twelve hundred comedian first Thursday two hundred twelve BLT Entertainment twelve hundred comedian first Sunday. 213 BLT Entertainment 1200, Comedian First Therapy. 214 Caddy Met Bakery $252, Cake for Senior Event. 215 Caddy Met Bakery, Cake for Senior Event. 216 Caddy Met Bakery $252, Cake for Senior Event. 217 Caddy Met Bakery 252, Cake for Senior Event. 218 Caddy Met Bakery 126, Cake for Senior. 219, Calumet Bakery, $126, cake for Bingo, cake for Bingo, 220, Calumet Bakery, $163, strawberry cake, 221, Calumet Bakery, $163, strawberry cake, 222, Calumet Bakery, $81, strawberry cake, 223, Calumet Bakery, $160, strawberry cake, 224, Calumet Bakery, $326, cake, pink and gold, 225, Calumet Bakery, $326, Big Bingo Cake. 226, Calumet Bakery, $407.50, Strawberry Cake. 227, Calumet Bakery, $326, HB Everyone Cake. 228, Carlos Medina, $350, Photographer Service. 229, Carlos Medina, $250, Photographer. 230, Carlos Medina, $250, Photographer. 231, Charles J. Williams, 1200, Media Production. 232, Illinois Production, LLC, 1900, Video Service. 233, Illinois Production, LLC, $850, Video Service. 234, Jimbo's Catering, $399, Bingo, Team Bingo. 235, Jimbo's Catering, $999, Senior Bingo. 236, Jimbo's Catering, $469, Senior Home Bingo. 237, Jimbo's Catering, $995, Senior Dinner. 238, Curse Barbecue, $702, Taste Food. Um, 239, Liberty Mutual, $77, 88 cents, Liability. 240, Lydia Aurora Aguilera, $600. $50, uh, Father's Day, Rakeem Alar, Winner, $500, video service, $242, Rakeem Alar, Wintourette, $600, video production service, $243, Forty Hate Entertainment, $2,411.55, The Taste, $244, Southland RCM Communications, $4,000, Consulting Services, 245 STA Focus Media Group, $5,876.08 media. 200, I mean, 200, yeah, 246 Super Laundry, $152.10 laundry service. <laughs> 247 Super Laundry, $124.80 table call. 248 Super Laundry, $40.95 laundry table call. 249 Super Laundry 3, $31.20. Laundry for Terra Call 250 Super Laundry, $46.80. Laundry Terra Call 251 Super Laundry, $29.25. Laundry Terra Call 252 The DJ Experience, $1,300. Um, picnic DJ, DJ Grills. 
258 Excel printing and mailing $380 healthcare flyer. All right, thank you. And um, that's the reason why I'm talking to read, just so you can see what I'm saying and why I argue and go back and forth uh, with my board because how can you go backwards off of something that's already spent? So all those things are already spent, already approved when everybody was cool. Now all of a sudden it's, it's not cool to pay bills. Make it make sense. Uh, Space not approved. And also, if I can make a point, um, there's things that we have voted not to approve them and somehow magically they end up on the credit card. And I'll point and that that's out. That's one of the reasons for that out. Yeah. You can that's easily exactly say that. What that's not this. true. Then point it out. I, I want to see. Point it out. Because you can say that. You need to point out what you're saying you did not approve and it's on the same. Thank you. And it's sad that you guys sitting here saying no. There was senior events on there. It was the book bag we gave away to the kids. It was all kinds of things on there that you guys still said no to now, but yes, Correct. back then. So what's the difference? Now all of a sudden everybody else said you want to pay people? Go to no and then they end up on a credit card bill. That's not true. So what's the item? Tell me the items. You ain't got it. I'll make a list. I'll get it to you. Right, because you ain't got it. You're just going to talk. Y'all just say stuff up here. I can't stand it. I can't stand a lot of it. Anyway, moving on. Um, okay, so we said that, and that's the pay the bill. So the only way that I'm going to vote is because I do want to pay whatever vendors there is to pay, but I'm still against not paying everybody. I think you should pay everyone on the list. So you can call them. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervising here. Yes. Next is General Assistant Fund. Is there a motion to pay the General Assistant Fund? Uh, I would like to make an amended motion to pay um, a few things, excluding a few items. All right. You can make the motion to take whatever you want out, but again, I keep telling y'all, so I'll tell y'all, let me educate you. Those items are strictly supervisor. Supervisor is over the GA department. I'm not going to have to keep telling y'all that. But go ahead, do, do what you want. Yes, you are, but it's with the past budget and we don't have that in place right now. Y'all keep saying past, but y'all won't pass the budget, so stop. Y'all have to do y'all job and stop kicking the can down the road. Stop. Y'all got to grow up. Like, stop keep saying that we're not going to do this because we don't have a budget. Y'all don't want to hold the budget up. Pass the budget. Other than that, we still operate off the old budget. So that means you have a budget in place to still do the will of the people and pay the bills. Because GA, for those that don't know, is a service department. So when you come to ask us to pay your life, your gas, your water, your mortgage, your rent, bury loved ones, or get medicine, that's what GA is all about. Food pantry. When you need food, residents, seniors, yeah, deliver it to your house. That's what GA is about with y'all missing, that when they sit here and say, well, we want to remove this, we don't want to pay that. We already gave you our word when you came here and saw us, and we said we're going to pay your light bill. Then they'll get up here and say, well, we ain't voting to pay nothing. They did that before, and guess what I did? Still pay it, because at the end of the day, that is solely the supervisor. I pay um, anything in GA, like stop. But we get up here and do this show, because it's political theater for you guys, okay? All right, go ahead, say what you're going to say, let's vote. All right, excluding, um, I make a motion to pay the bills except the following items, 1, 14, and 43. All right, Robert, what is the minus? Since she don't want to read it to the record, what's the item, uh, Carmen? What's the item? Three items, you could have just read them. All right, what is the, what's the one not pay, Robert? Let's talk to the people. All right, um, number one, Power War LLC, $8,745, tax refund software. Number 14, citation box and paper, $17,400 on holiday boxes. 43, Power One. Powerwalk LLC, $9,100 software for tax refund. So now y'all want to give the refund to the residents. I got a tax refund for giving y'all tax money back that's under the GA department. Again, y'all ain't tax for that, huh? but that's what she just took out. The food boxes that you get the food in to give you the product. Y'all ain't clap for that either, huh? Nah, okay. But these are the things that they do that regularly. Uh, that we do every single month. Every month the same thing. But again, I keep telling y'all, wake up. It's election time. Because other than that, why would you remove things that are for the people? 
food boxes for the people. And what else for the people? Tax refunds. Then all y'all property taxes go up. So when you want some of your money back, they want to stop the software to give you your money back. Make it make sense. But okay, we'll play the game. Let's go. I have all right. something to say. Um, one, the first item I mentioned was pay on a credit card. And it was a part of the tax rebate. So the residents do deserve a tax rebate. But more importantly, we need to figure out our budget. We have to fix the deficiencies that we have. And yes, the budget is late. And so our goal is not to rush it, but to get it right. And we want to make sure that the entitlement programs that are functioning at the, uh, the township are functioning at the highest. Are you done? No. OK. Uh, we want to make sure that our entitlement programs are functioning at the highest capacity so that we can serve everybody in the township that needs the services. And more than that, I think it's, we need a, a more moral and ethically, we need an obligation to the residents to be transparent and accountable. And if we focus on transparency and accountability and less on being so, excuse me, can you call her? She's out of order. Oh, that's your so friend. Maybe if we focus on accountability and transparency and less on Beagle, then we'll have enough money to set aside to give the rebate program so that everyone in Dora Township can benefit from the program and from the services at Dora Township and not just people to show up to Beagle. And so that's our goal. And then if we have a holiday popular. For the holiday boxes. It's not that we don't want the holiday boxes to um, not be printed, but again, we have an image ordinance that has not been um, in compliance. There are different departments that are still printing things with uh, against the, the policy. Uh, Supervisor Survivor Heater's name is on a lot of things, and she knows that's against the image ordinance. And so I did reach out to them, asking them, can we see what would be printed? No one ever responded to me. If they did, I mean, at a later date, I didn't get it. But again, we just have to make sure that the things that we put in order, the laws that we put in place are being followed. Oh. Yeah. We should have just been transparency a few minutes ago. I told y'all the items they didn't want to pay, right? But they told y'all numbers. This is how slow a lot of people are. So with transparency, they should have so read out what they're doing up here, but they're not. They tell you numbers and then y'all okay with it. But all the things they're telling you is affecting you as residents. Secondly, as it relates to image, this is what I mean about my board. It's a lot of hate, jealousy, and envy amongst them towards their supervisor. They came and turned over the numbers in Thornton Township. Let me, let me remind you, here in Thornton Township, Frank Zuccarelli had this seat for 30 years, 29 to be exact. His name was on everything. You guys know whoever the leader is, your name goes in place of their name. If you're the mayor, the supervisor, your name is the one that everyone sees from that town or city. So that's what I mean about hate and, and jealousy. Because nobody cared before when it was Frank. Did y'all make any noise? Did y'all say that's a rude person name? Y'all made a fake ordinance to make it like y'all fake in charge. Y'all are not in charge of anything. So please stop with the antics when we come here to these board meetings. I am the leader for Thornton Township. I am the supervisor by the Thornton Township. And I'm going to uh, make sure y'all give me my respect and stop playing for me. Because all these games need to stop. When I came to Thornton Township, and that's my personal class, I'm gonna stand for this so we can hear y'all running back. When I came to Thornton Township, y'all had a $4.5 million deficit when I got here. $4.5 million deficit. Since me taking over, you have a surplus of $9.8 million today. Today. Surplus. 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 Everybody just stop sitting here just saying things that ain't 
speak truth. I can't stand when people just get up here and lie. They don't got no facts for what they're speaking of. People can give y'all a load of facts, but don't tell y'all the truth. And that's why I tell y'all. Now, like y'all, please come out and talk should talk tomorrow. Tell us your talk. We sit right here at the same very location. And we talk to residents. We give you evidence of everything that's going on here at Thorn Township. That's being transparent. That's being accountable. That's showing you our book. That's showing you our account. Let me educate you. Let me school you. That's why I talk like that. Because y'all don't come to the very one meeting that matters the most. But you can actually get the paperwork in your head with facts. So that now you can know the correct people that got it wrong. That don't live in your communities but got something to say. So all I'm saying to you guys is, come on. Come and meet your supervisor. Come and meet the staff of Thorne Township. They did an awesome job. And Curry knows that. So when she's there and talk about, they need to do a bus, they need to do their job. They're not doing their job. They come telling you an excuse for why they ain't passing the budget. Our job, especially as being a trustee, is to pass the budget. That's it. They legislate. Just so people understand the three branches of government so y'all can get it right. I'm the executive branch. They're the legislative body. The legislative body does what? Write ordinances, pass a budget. That's it. They don't run the day to day. They got nothing to do with nothing. Else. And that's what we keep messing up on. People keep impeding on my powers, on my responsibility. So I just want to make sure I make that crystal clear and everybody can see me, hear me in the back about what's going on here at Thorne Township because it's in a better place than I took office. Guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, I would like to say something. Um, let's open up the discussion. I would like to say something. If I may, when it goes to tax refund project, can you tell us the cost of that and what's the time frame? Actually, I can. If you want to show up tomorrow at fashion. So I'll take that as a no. So one of the reasons I ask is first of all, we don't know the full amount. Second of all, I think it's inappropriate if it's not for this current year, which I've run this program, so I know there's no way to do it for this year. It would be next year, and there's a good possibility that you're not going to be here. So oh, that's how you get that for you. Okay, so let me make you quick that's not, I guarantee you, you're not going to get that seat. And in the words of this, uh, I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it, but you need to, un you know what, that seat. So we will be working on that with you, because you don't need nothing at the township. You don't vote anything for your residents. You vote no to everything. When I say everything, keep it up here at the township building. Make sure that people get fed. You vote no to everything. I guarantee you I will be here, because if y'all thought that I wasn't going to win, Y'all would be doing all this media campaigning yeah. on me. Y'all would yeah. be doing all this negativity yeah. on me yeah. if y'all thought I was going to win. But y'all know I am one of those people. I'm going to talk. So, you want to the questions? No answers. So let's be more guys. No answers. I would like to say something. She said something. She said that leaders take. Um, she says she's a leader and she says she she's a supervisor. Okay, so but real leaders take accountability and responsibility and they don't blame their staff, but they're horrible and safe. You know what I'm saying? You're out of order. You're out of order. You're out of order. You're out of order. You're out of Permanent Chris. Second Secretary. Right. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervisor Moon. Yes, but I'm still gonna make sure all the other things y'all are gonna get, which is your food boxes and also the uh, tax refund. We'll still what day All right, uh, is there a motion to pay the Rowan Bridge Fund? Motion. Is that second? Second. Any discussion? Colorado. Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervising here. Yeah. All right, next is there a motion to approve the budget? And then where is the budget? Because you guys have not given anyone a budget. But is there a motion to adopt 2024-2025 budget and appropriation ordinance 24-009 for Thor Township General Assistance Fund? Is there a motion? Transparency, huh? 
Kind of being young. So y'all not pass it? No. All right, next um, is the motion to adopt 2024-2025 budget and appropriation ordinance 24-010 for Thorn Township General Fund. Is there a motion? No? Not passing the budget, Steve, huh? No. But they found transparency. All right, next, is there a motion to approve the retainer agreement with uh, LBS to represent Thorn Township? Um, officials in the case of Gerald Jones versus Thornton Township. Is there a motion? Hello? Is there, is there a motion? Okay, I'm going to make a motion. Is there a second? No? Y'all don't want to protect the township? What are we doing? I think you guys need a warning. I think you guys should consider making sure we are covered. Second. All right, then motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, yes, I have a question. Has any action or uh, motions or anything um, taken place prior to approval tonight? What do you mean? Uh, there was something I forgot to bring up last uh, meeting when we approved uh, an attorney for some other things. It was brought to my attention that prior to us voting it, proving it, that there was action taken in court uh, by the attorneys. So what I'm asking is if that is the case in any way here. Well, in this case, has any action been taken prior to approval, whether it be a motion or a filing or anything along those Well, I don't know nothing about what you just said, but it relates to General wow. Jones, you should know clearly about that. I'm assuming that's why Jerry is here. That is uh, Trustee Jerry Jones' son. So you know, just like I know, I guess you want me to say it for the public, that he sued Thorne Township, and this is what I mean about them not doing their job, and basically he won a default because we didn't have legal counsel of $3 million. But they didn't tell y'all that because they keep on not getting counsel to protect the township. You've got to protect the township. That's what it's about, I keep saying it. So how you win a default? How we ain't have legal counsel? Can I, uh, can I be recognized, please, um, to say something? So the first time I ever heard about this case um, was when you put it on this agenda. Okay, so why didn't you vote? So you're quick? saying that we got this information before and he defaulted. We didn't get any information trust besides. You got the information because y'all talked to the lawyer, and just like I do. Delgado has this, and you guys know every time we put somebody up here, you voted it down. And then we go and we get in default because we don't have a representation when they go to court. So, so here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This so board. here we are again. So are you guys going to make sure we got counsel? We don't have coverage? What are we doing so that he can go in court and get this removed for the three million dollars that we owe this individual because we didn't have counsel? So are we going to move forward with that or are we not? What are we doing? Was this on the agenda at some other time? Are we going to vote for this person? I but not. I need to answer our question right now. You, you should, you should know that. If you wanted to ask, you could look at your agenda and you could have checked it out. All I need to know is what's the end of the day. It's too many games. It's the kiddies stuff that I'm talking about. Trust me. 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 So again, you're not going to answer a question. I really don't care what y'all doing. I just need to ask her. You either going to protect the township or you're not. That's all I'm here to do. So it's a motion. Are you, are you motioning or what? Excuse me. Uh, are you the attorney? Once, once we get the motion, hold on. We're out of order. Once you, once you get the motion. There's a motion and a second. Supervisor, there's a motion and a second. So approve it. So approve it. So this is the attorney. We can ask the attorney. Okay, hold on. Trust me. Trust me. If you don't want to be, you want to order. There's currently on the floor a motion and a second to approve the retainer agreement with LDS. So when discussion is concluded, we have a roll call vote regarding that. There's counsel here from LDS who can probably answer some questions that the board may have. All right, all right, go ahead, LDS. Good, good afternoon, uh, Madam Supervisor, members of the board. Um, there has not been a default judgment entered in this matter. The court has given the township and the individual defendant until October 31st to file um, a responsive pleading, either an answer or a motion to dismiss. There is no, there is no default at this time. Okay. So what was that three million dollar uh, paperwork we got? 
that, that matter was in court last week, but the judge um, yeah, we'll it. the judge put it over until the October 31st date. Okay, so you got it you got extended basically. So we got a default for three minutes. I know I saw that because my team showed it to me, and now it's extended for the day. Okay, that's correct. There you y'all are. So what we gonna do now? So um, oh, go ahead. no, go ahead. So no, go ahead. <laughs> so I mean, I guess it kind of goes back to my previous question. So have you been working on this case already? No, I have not. Sir. Okay. So that's because there was no representation. That's because we have not been retained. So I. We ethically cannot do it. Well, that's, that's yeah. kind of what I was getting at. Okay. But there, so right now, but there is not a default like the supervisor itself. That's correct. There is no default. He just told you it was a default. Hold on. Let's back up. It was a default for $3 million. We got the paper. And we did not have anybody to represent the township. He just told you that he went in court and, well, got it pushed back. Right? No, actually, he just said he hasn't been in court. If I may. If I can if I clarify. The plaintiff's attorney filed what's called a default motion, mm -hmm. which means that you were served and you didn't show up, and he asked for a three million dollar judgment. Right. I did not appear, but the judge continued it over to October thirty first. And if you don't file something at that point, I assume that the plaintiff's attorney will file that motion again. And quite frankly, the judge might grant. So, in other words, you're saying we, if we wanted to table this until our October, oh, um, yes. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, keep it now so I can ask my question. After the supervisor said we're conducting a meeting, but she never wants to put it in order. Oh, God. But anyway, um, so will we have time to make a decision at the second board meeting um, or the first board meeting in October? Well, when, when would the board meeting? I think it's October 8th, I believe. It's the second Tuesday. I, I would think October 8th. If, 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 if you retain an attorney, whether myself or someone else, I would think within three weeks they certainly could file some type of response. Okay. So the answer to your question is yes. Thank you. Okay, so we'll do <laughs> What's up? Okay. It's a motion to second call up. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. <laughs> Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervising? Yes. All right, moving on. Um, approval of upcoming events for senior services. Thank uh, you. Is there a motion to approve the Harvest Roundup located in Kansas City? And is there a motion? All right, is there a motion? Motion. Is there a second? Is there a motion and second? Any discussion? Call her up. Trustee Carla? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Student Yes. Is there a motion to approve the holiday senior events? Is there a motion? Motion. Is there a motion? Is there a motion? Is there Trustee Carlo? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. All right, next on the agenda is, uh, is there a motion to conduct a forensic audit slash investigation of Keith Freeman's credit card and Carmen Carlisle use of said card? Is there a motion? Motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there a motion second? Any discussion? Yes. Um, so I want to say, um, unlike Supervisor Hinger, um, I am happy to, uh, to talk about any investigation. I welcome any investigation about any expenditure in Thornton Township's finances. Um, I have no problem uh, sitting down and talking to an investigator about um, any of the purchases I made on um, behalf of Thornton Township or Supervisor Hinger and the multiple trips I booked for her, the expensive uh, the hotel suites, the first class flights, the uh, expensive dinners, you know, the different amenities that she received yes, that were provided to her on behalf of Thornton Township residents. And yes, as she stated, I was her sister, so I was on many of those trips. Um, I was told by her to make sure she had two trips booked a month, under, nothing under three or four days. And I think that um, anybody who wants to know, any investigator who asks any question should have any information about any trip, including but not limited to the shirts, the paraphernalia, flyers, and the promotional items that have been paid for um, with her face and her image on it by Thornton Township. Details about her transportation, uh, the travel plans, information about her security that she demanded to go with her everywhere she went. Um, I welcome any investigation into any expenditure involving Tiffany <laughs> and keep through this credit card. And I'm sure that you will also be happy to answer any questions about 
uh, this too because um, again, we're open to being honest and transparent about anything that we've done um, for Lord Township and not to mention um, that Tiffany Hager wasn't the only person that benefited, but you know, I, uh, Mr. Woods was there and many other people were there on the show. And I'll be happy to discuss any of this about um, to anybody. And again, I think since we're talking about it, Lori Lightfoot did such a great job in Thank Boston. You. I love her. She's going to do the same thing here at Dora Township. So yes, I would like to have an investigation. I'll sit down and answer any question about any trips. I'll book on behalf of Super Supervisor Junior as her assistant. Yes. Yes. Right. So, let me make sure that I got this correct. You was not my assistant here at Thor Township. So why are you using Thor Township credit card? So that's number one. Number two, let's talk about your entanglement with Keith Freeman. Let's open the door so everyone knows what's going on with Thor Township. If we don't tell it, we don't tell the truth. Okay, then we gotta get into everybody business. All these lies and all these things, people like that town, right? And say that people said this, people did that. And that's fine. I'm used to it. You at the top. So when you at the top, you get all these bums looking for crumbs attacking you every time. And it's sad because she went on a trip. Keith Freeman went on the trip, and everybody want to attack people, but what did y'all do on the trip? Please, you call your mind, don't stand up, don't leave for us. So all I'm saying to everybody is, stop trying to make it like it's something bad, and I just want to clear it up for those that don't understand. We have a budget for travel. I've said this several times. Y'all can keep on putting in the, the cameras, on the news. Everyone travels. We even for other towns. Just to show you that every single person travels in their communities. And um, when you go, you should learn something. Because at the end of the day, you have to educate yourself on what how to run that? government and what to do as it relates to government. And it's said that people have to take it and twist it for bad because people get frown because they didn't go on the trip or they got an attitude about it or whatever the reason may be. But at the end of the day, it is a budget for travel. So people need to stop trying to make it like it's um, something someone did wrong. Because no, we're going to uh, so I have to say. I don't know if this was just put on here so you can show both, but uh, on, oh, who's okay. providing the service and how much is it going to cost? Yeah. Well, just like we're gonna do everything else that's on the agenda, we're gonna put it out for bid. And we're gonna make sure we do it the right Should way that so that someone can actually come in Should and say, it that hey, have been done already? Hey, Once first, again, first, first we gotta backwards. get approval so we can move forward, right? Make up your mind. You gotta go get approved. Realistically, we should have numbers in front of us. We should have in front of us. We should have numbers 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 in front of us. Why you put it on your first? Why you put it out the bed first? Which one y'all want me to do? I ain't being confused. Give us numbers. Excuse me, I would like to say something. Um, the initial agenda that was funny, um, I know this is put on the agenda because of our closed session items. So when we got the original agenda, this wasn't on there. But when she saw what we put for closed session, she added this, which again, I'm open to any investigation about anything I did as her assistant. But well, as her assistant, one thing she always said to everybody who worked for her, and it, there's a bunch of people that can attest to you, when you work for Tiffany, you work for her brand. You don't work for an entity. That's what she always told us. So I was demanded to work seven days a week, almost 18 to 20 hours a day. And I'll get a chance to talk about that. That's not the time or place, but for again, for her to sit here and say, that you know, um, I wasn't her assistant, and why was I no, spending money on like behalf? And, and, and excuse me, uh, what? Like Shut up, man! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? But again, as
Yeah, this is Trusty Carlisle. I'm sorry, what are we voting on? Oh, uh, yes. Trusty Carlisle. Yes. All right, moving on next. Is there a motion to see the right of Trusty Carlisle? Yes. Yes. The motion is for all the parties. And all the parties. Can't hear you. Okay, guys. Okay. Um, is there a motion to conduct a forensic audit slash investigation on all departments? All audits dating back 10 years. Is there a motion? Is there a motion? Okay, I'll motion. Is there a second? Thank you, Charlie. All right, what are we doing? Nope. Oh, y'all go back. What are we doing? 10 years? Nobody will go back? No. What are we doing? Because y'all can feel it. It's been 10 years. So, what are we doing? Everybody quiet. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be doing it. I've been three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. What we doing, trustee? Trustee, we ain't got a minute for three, a minute for ten years. So do mine and do the previous. So do everybody here. That's why I say all, all the partners. All the partners. All the partners. So once again, once again, this is your show, boy. You need to audit everything. She just gave a speech, right? About one person. But she gave a speech about everybody here in Thorne Township. I've been telling y'all since I got here that they've been stealing. I've been telling y'all all these things, but they're going to audit it. Audit 10 years back, and you're going to get your truth, people. Y'all want the truth, right? Yeah, four members vote for ten years back on ice. Vote for ten years back on ice. Now, quiet. Why the church? I can't get none. They ain't even paid. What y'all got? Are we going to motion back ten years? No. No. Is there a motion? Yes. 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 Yes
Okay, Let's moving on. Right um, next is approval of the ordinance. Hey, whisper, um, a whistleblower protection policy for Board Township Cook County. Uh, is there a motion? Motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there a motion second? Any discussion? Okay, so just so y'all understand what the uh, whistleblower act is. We do not trump state. State trumps any laws that we make or govern here. So again, people put this on here for political theater. At the end of the day, you guys can go be a whistleblower right now if you want to. Just blow the whistle. So with that being said, on here, um, making an ordinance, I just think that you are um, just wasting money because we just making ordinances that already in state uh, exist at the state level. So I just want to put into record the state whistleblower. So for those that want to do, blow the whistle. Please reach out. Make it local. Okay. Yeah, I'll Here you go. Just so you know, this is the whistleblower act. For anybody that wants to blow the whistle, you don't have to actually make an ordinance. Just so you know, you just blow the whistle. That's all you have to do. Blow the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. 740-ILCS-174-15, that's the whistleblower act. There you have it. So I'm just saying when people make laws and things of that nature, you just print this because it's already state law. All right, so is the motion is that case called? Trustee Carla? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. No. Okay, so motion fails. Again, you want to go to the You got to have three. You got to have three. I keep telling you, let me educate you. You're going to learn from it. You're going to learn today. You got to have three. All right, so next is a motion to direct the township attorney to send nation builders a confirmation slash void notice. Okay, so I'm going to say it again. Motion to direct the township attorney to send nation builders a confirmation slash void notice. Motion. Is there a second? Is motion second? Any discussion? Yes. Um, so I just want to start off by saying this one thing. There's a very dangerous dangerous line between collecting data and electioneering. So um, I know back in July, I reached out to Supervisor Heger asking about the Nation Builder software. So with Nation Builder software, um, it's used often in campaigns. It's used for other things, but often in campaigns. And what I asked for was a contract agreement with Nation Builder, a comprehensive explanation of how the software functions um, it, uh, in its current application, contact information from the representative at Nation Builder. Um, I asked for the mission and objectives for the program, the specific roles and objectives of the call center. Um, I asked for all walk sheets utilized by the outreach team during uh, neighborhood canvassing. I asked for call sheets from the phone bank, scripts that were um, employed by the phone bank, a comprehensive list of all employees within the outreach program, um, those working uh, canvassing in the neighborhoods, asked for hours. And um, I was never given that information. So I did put in a FOIA request that they sent back saying that it was uh, burdensome, so they didn't respond to that FOIA request. But they did send me the Nation Builder contract, um, which I reached out and asked, did the board, was this presented to the board? Um, and the response was no, and did the board vote? And of course we didn't because it wasn't even presented to us. But I do want to read a part in um, the Nation Builder contract that was just a little concerning. It said, voter contact tools including turf cutting, precinct assignments, printable walk sheets, call sheets, household mailing lists, um, list exports, gamification tools, including leadership and customizable virtual points. Um, one, I have a question for Robert. Did we purchase any voter rolls with Nation Builder? And was the outreach responsible for knocking on doors, providing them with propaganda, highlighting supervisor here? Because again, if you have an outreach department, there's no need to target voters. And what Nation Builder does is it targets voters. And again, if we're outreaching, let's knock on everybody's door. And so those are my questions that I have answered. And I think that's why this contract should be void because it was not presented to the board. And the cost was $67,416. And I think they got a discount for signing by 9-30-2023. It was 30% discount, which brought the total to $47,233.20. All right, any more discussion? All right, call on the road and that's important. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervising here. No. All right, next. Um, is there a motion where I say discussion of possible action related to the creation of the accountability department? 
announce that the motion passed. Motion. What is this? What is this accountability department? Rich, what are y'all doing? We don't have any in our package. Stop. You don't have all the attorney that didn't cheat? You didn't send it to the attorney. The attorney did it. You guys give things to the clerk, and the clerk sends it to everybody. It's not in our package. You don't have it. So what is it? So the accountability department is something that uh, we feel is necessary at the township. Um, I feel like we're, we're lacking the accountability. And I think based on what's going on in the climate of things, I think it would be very important to have people that focuses on accountability, um, that's separate and independent of the supervisor's office. Um, I have been reaching out to people at the state level to see um, if they can, you know, assist us with creating that department and even reached out to uh, Senator um, Harris's uh, community affairs manager to see if he'd be willing to do a summit and host it here at the township to be able to talk and answer questions for any um, resident that may have questions. But again, accountability is what's lacking. That's our goal as trustees to make sure that uh, everybody has to be accountable for the things that are uh, going on in the township. So, so we're in the process of implementing it. We don't have the full set, but we do think it's important just to let the community know what direction we're going in. And so again, we always want to keep you all informed on the direction that the board is going. So we are working on implementing an accountability and ethics department. So y'all heard her say Napoleon Harris, so that is your puppet master. Yes, pay attention to the people that's in the back that you don't see that's actually got the puppets up there and got the strength. So it's said because no nothing about it. And why didn't he reach out to other people? So basically, basically, um, we're gonna move forward. We call the girl on this, and I just think you guys should um, look more into other avenues. Jerry Jones got a job and start moving. Okay. If I may, to be clear, what's the actual motion that's been presented? Because it's unclear to me. We're going to yeah, create an ordinance to, um, this is the motion to create uh, the accountability department. Okay. <laughs> Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. No. All right, next, um, discussion and possible action related to the establishment of a new salary ordinance for elected officials of Fort County. All right. Second. I mean, motion. Second. Motion. Slow down, slow down. All right, so it's been motion and second. Any discussion? Yes. Um, so right now, there is a longevity system in place, which... Um, incentivizes elected officials to stay in their seat longer but what we're looking to do is make it more equitable and suitable where anybody can um, have the drive and desire to uh, run and so again we're working on uh, creating this um, it's not in place but again we just want to be transparent with the community um, so uh, you know we'll have that hopefully at the next board meeting in October um, to set that salary ordinance in place Okay, so. So I think your motion, trustee, should be to uh, table this matter to the next regular board meeting. Is that what your motion is? Well, it's, yeah, it's just discussion because we don't have a place yet, so we just wanted the community to know. So we can table it until the next board meeting, but we are moving to create um, this uh, board. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you guys? You don't do want to do another you ordinance you which we can't so, don't you take me out. Ask so, me so, so why are we doing it? I don't do this and you know I don't do this. Okay, okay guys. Don't you know, no, 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 that ordinance benefited you, and we're not trying to benefit you. We want to do what's right for the residents of Thornton Township. Oh, they benefit me. Okay. I'm glad you said that. Here she goes. Right again. I'm going to show you. I've always told you guys, do your research. Make sure you check and see what everybody's doing, what's going on, because people like to just say things up here that's untrue. And then the news run untrue. It's going to be untrue. And that's what we're going to do. So let me give y'all some facts. We're going to this news. You can use right here. Let me give y'all some facts. Let me give y'all some facts. Remember, this news you can use right here. So when I say... What's the date? November 28th to be exact of 2023. Uh, ordinance came up um, as related to salaries, right? And when I say it passed, everybody voted for it. Um, it's the ordinance. And she said it was just to benefit me. I told you this is just a hate fest up here. It's just hate, jealousy, and envy. That's all it is up there against me. 
uh, because that's why they put things in place, right? So when the orcs came up, Frank Zuccarelli, let me take it out in real life before I get to that. Frank Zuccarelli now had a orc, and I'm gonna give you the date so you can go and check it out. Orphanage that was they um, April 6th of 2021 was this orphanage. And this tells you how much the supervisor makes. It tells you the assessor, the clerk, the highway commission, and the trustees. So make sure y'all follow what I'm trying to tell you. Um, first term for supervisor was at 57000 the eight term was $202,000, $202,000, just so you know. So Frank being that long, that was his salary, right? And then you go down to the township super, uh, I mean, assessor, the first term is $29,000, and then the eight term is $101,000. The township clerk, the first term is $17,000, and the eight term is $59,000. The highway commissioner, the first term is $17,000, and the eight term is $59,000. And the trustees, dun, dun, dun. Uh, the first term is eleven thousand dollars, eleven thousand dollars, and the eight term is forty one thousand dollars. Now that's the money, so y'all know. So each year or each term it goes up. So the ordinance, because they was complaining about money here, right? Meaning the board of trustees. So we all got together. That's why they all voted for it. That's why I'm saying I got to tell you the truth. They all complained. But what the news never told you, why everybody's attacking me with the salary that I hold, which was inherited, right? I inherited Frank Zuccarelli's salary. I didn't make the numbers up, I didn't win anything. So all I did was put my same salary in an ordinance along with the board of trustees, the clerk, the commissioners, um, highway commissioner, and also the assessor. Up on here, I just told you that we make $11,000, right? The trustees went up to $42,000. That's the part they leave out in the news when they were talking about your supervisor. So you gotta understand, the ordinance benefited everybody. Because people saying it's just for me, no. It was for everybody, right? They want their money to go up. So with that being said, let me tell you their salaries. Jerry Jones, his salary is $19,000. Uh, highway Commissioner, $30,000. Cassandra, that's the assessor, $53,000. The clerk, Loretta Wells, $17,000. Uh, trustee, uh, Greg Evers, $11,000. Chris Gonzalez, $11,000. Tiffany, meaning me, supervisor, $202. Uh, Carmen Carlisle, $34,000. So Carmen took a point seat, so she had the highest paid uh, salary due to uh, Joyce Washington passing, she received her salary. Again, we inherit people's salaries. But that is the truth of how the salary or is go. But no one tells you that because they just point fingers, but they don't give you all, all of the meat. That's why I tell y'all to read. I tell you, if you put them in, you don't read, you will never know the truth. And this is what it is if you read the orders in its entirety. And it tells you everything about everybody's salary. Okay, guys, okay, my order. I think you need to read a little more. It also says that if a new supervisor comes in, that drops considerably. Correct, in the old word. Oh, correct. You so, that. so hold on, hold on, hold on. In the old word, not the new one, not the new one. So hold on. Get it right, Chris. Get it right. So in the old word, just so y'all know, if anybody would have ran against Frank Cooper, y'all stop me would have dropped to 57 more. No matter what. Anybody that would have ran against Frank Zuccarelli and say Frank would have lost, it would have dropped to 57,000. Let me tell y'all that. How to get to 25? I already explained how we did our ordinances. It's all right here. But I just wanted to give y'all some, some information so you can understand how the solid ordinance works, how it went, give you some more facts, and know what you can say as it relates to the ordinance here. I'd like to say something else so, about the uh, hold salary. Hold on, Charlie. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, if you want the information, just make sure that you can uh, for your these orders. Uh, one is twenty three dash zero zero four, and the other one is twenty dash R dash uh, oh seven is a revolution. So you can uh, for your these if you want information so you can understand what's going on with um, the time orders. And it, it's just a shocking that now the trustees want to change the orders again just to benefit whoever's their puppet master so that you can put salary in place 
um, that was already in place. Because like I said, their salary went from 11000 to 22000 And that's the part no one ever talks about, because all y'all focus on is the supervisor who inherited the, the salary that was given to me. And I just want to make that crystal clear for those that don't understand what's going on. So I would like to say something else about the salary ordinance. So we repealed the other one because, um, again, yes, we did inherit the salaries we have based on the people that passed away. Uh, may they rest in peace. Um, but I want to say that um, Supervisor Hager, the, the way that the other one was created was she got to keep the salary that she inherited and everybody else who ran against her, anybody else won, they would drop to $25,000. So what we did is we made it equitable. So everybody, it doesn't matter if you run um, or in the sitting seat or you're running and you win, everybody gets the same salary. We made it, again, equitable because there, there needs to be some equity across the board. Okay. So that's, what, that. that's what we did as a board. Okay. And that's fine. Yeah. She did it, but you didn't do it for everybody. Because no matter what, y'all stayed at 42. So stop lying. Y'all stayed at 42. It never dropped. The only person that dropped was supervisor. Your salary stayed at 42000 so well, tell the truth. Also, for the record, and they ain't got it right. these are I salaries that go not. forward, meaning we don't receive this now. It takes effect today, uh, whether they're old or not. People get reelected or not, or a new person comes in, they get these salaries. That's why we do it now. We're not doing it for ourselves. Right, so, based, on, based on whoever may come in or may not come in. So, so exactly. just, just make it so, sound like it starts today or when something. You guys like that. I mean, repeal, that's not the case. When you guys repeal the ordinance, remember? At the state level, uh, Thaddeus Jones, state rep, and also Napoleon Harris. They went at the state level, pushed it through a people to basically take the salary back anyway. So like I said, when we come to this level, all y'all doing is things for clickbait. That's it, because it doesn't really matter. It's already removed. There's nothing else you can do. You can write an orders all day long, but at the state level, I keep telling y'all this, we don't trump state. So whatever you put in place does not matter. So whatever the state level is that they broke is what it will be, no matter what they stay up here. And that's the part that everyone's missing. As well. What they wrote was saying that so, you can't do what you wanted to do. No, they did not write that. They wrote, they wrote an ordinance, they a law about the salary. That's what they wrote. And I recited this at the last meeting, but I just thought I'd bring it back to show the residents once again. All right, enough of this. Moving on. All right, are we voting to table this? Are, are y'all on the table? We're not. Uh, we're going to create an ordinance. Um, right. The lawyer just told you to table it to the next meeting. You just take that advice. Okay, you can relax and calm down and talk to me. I'm not going to be like, stop. Right. Uh, what is it a motion to be Okay, call her up. Yes. Trust me. Yes. Trust me. Yes. That's okay. We got the. We can't steal it. Supervisor here. We appreciate it. No. I'd rather be a bum than a thief. It don't matter. I'd rather be a bum than a thief. When your ass don't get your ass with somebody. Okay, guys. Okay, next on the agenda. A motion to approve the fifth issue. That the supervisor retains separate counsel with the next like, 90 days. I have four brains, so I just two now, but. Is there a uh, I would like to make an amended motion to strike in Jones. Um, we got advice from the attorney earlier that we can strike that case, so it would just be A, C, and D. I bet you a few times you go with you. Okay, you out of order. Please stop. Correct. 
A, C, and D are the ones that we are motioning um, for you to retain separate counsel for. Okay, and why are you guys motioning for me to retain separate counsel? We just feel like it's um, the interest of the supervisor and his uh, residents don't align, and if she is deemed liable for these matters, we feel that she should be responsible for it yes. and not the township. Yes. So that's why we think you should, uh, should uh, seek separate counsel. Yes. All right, so let me yeah. talk to y'all. Yeah. At the end of the day, I am the bottom, right? I am Thornton Township. I'm the head. So with that being said, I will be represented. I don't care what they say up here or have an attitude about me being represented. Any other mayor, any other supervisor are always represented. And I keep telling you guys, you cannot sit here and let people attack the township. I am the township. So when you don't get up here, you got to the Representation. Now, the standard since day one, and I will have representation uh, for myself and my capacity as supervisor of Thornton Township. So, I'm just letting y'all know that that will happen. So, well, there are individual cases. I mean, cases where you're being sued individually, and I feel like the township shouldn't have to represent you individually. Right. So, see, but that's right here. I have it right here. Let me, let I have me, it right let me educate here. you. That's why well, I have it right here. As it relates Black to white. me and my myself, I have my own legal capacity, right? But as it relates to me and my capacity, that's what y'all getting twisted at. I am supposed to have legal counsel here at the Thornton Township. Like, y'all have legal counsel in your capacity. So they're suing in my capacity as supervisor. So stop with the, with the nonsense, guys. Please stop. Okay, I can read this into the record because I have something from the attorney. It said, with regard to Larry versus uh, Larry Lawrence versus Township, um, there's a case number. We would represent all defendants, Thornton Township, and Tiffany Hinger and Keith Freeman in their individual capacity. Dwayne Thrash versus Thornton Township, we would again be representing the three same defendants. However, Hingard and Premium are being sued in their individual and official capacity. We're not saying we're not going to allow you to have defense in your official capacity, but we don't feel like we should uh, pay for your individual right. representation. Right. Thank you. You shouldn't pay for Freeman either. Uh, again, and not on this group, you got Freeman on the team. So, at the end of the day, um, I stand on what I just stated. I don't think about Township. Um, I will have counsel, as you can see. Um, I'm not going to not have counsel, not coverage because of the hate y'all have for me. So, y'all can hang that up. So, call the roll and let's move forward. I need a second. Are you seconding it, Chris? What you doing? Yeah, it's a second. Sorry, I missed it. No, it's a second. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Supervisor here? No to the, oh, no, no. So it does not pass. I keep educating you on still ain't getting it. At the end of the day, um, I do want to say this too, because I see y'all did not pull out uh, Jerry Jones as well, because he's getting sued uh, by his son, uh, Gerald Jones. So Fort Township should not be representing him, right? Because it's conflict of interest. I just want to point out things that you guys are saying, but you guys are allowed to go through because you want to vote for whatever you want to vote for. But I just want to make sure that that is in the record. All right, next on the agenda. We got supervisor report. Okay, so you guys know that I love the people and I love being amongst the people. I appreciate you guys always coming out to all events, all different things that's going on here at Thornton Township. Um, despite what uh, haters said, despite what uh, trustees said not to do, we still have Big Bingo. Big Bingo was a huge success. You guys still came out in numbers, so I appreciate you. And I love the fact that you guys had a blast. And you was able to benefit from the food and all the things that we had down here for you. Um, and thank you for coming out today. Um, it was located here in Thornton Township, and it was from 4 to 7 p.m. 
and we have an upcoming event tomorrow, which is Township Talk. It will be here at, in the lower level again, and it starts at 5 p.m. So again, I keep telling y'all, if y'all really want to learn what the township does, if you want to learn from um, the department heads and see what it is that you're missing, that you got information, you're going to come here and get the information. We have the finance director here as well, so if there's anything for finances, he can answer them. And there's normally a cordial um, gathering, but again, it'd be only about five to ten people come. Y'all don't come for the knowledge, but y'all come for the mess. So all I'm saying is come for the information so that you can learn uh, what's going on in the township from the people that actually run the township. So I just want to point that out, and then I got a video to show you guys. Well, you at um, media. No Are you ready? Okay. Which one you playing first? Yeah, let's go. So I want to show y'all the things that they're trying to shut down. Uh, Big Bingo is always a lot of fun. We make videos to showcase the things that we do here at Thorn Township. So I'm going to show you the video for Big Bingo. We want to see what they Stop recording. You need to stop recording. Stop being mad. I want to see each other. This is what we finally got a problem with. Chris got a problem with. Being going to be 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 as you can see, residents come from all over, all over the city, about 70 from all over the city. And the residents will tell you about how to feel about Vigo. So I just want to thank her for having us. Thank you for all the staff members. I just want to thank her for the lesson of the students to get out and do the things that we do. Look at that TV. Because I'm a person with cancer and I have a wooden aneurysm and basically I just stay in the house. But this gives me a reason to get up and come out more than just one and not disappointed. And it's so nice and so good. It is. And everybody is so kind you know, it's just so good to get out and not just sit at home. Nobody. Right, so that's an example of what we do down here in Big Big uh, go ahead to the next one. This is another big bingo that we're going to be having. Watch the gifts. So as you can see, every time it's always live, always packed. News, you catch it there? That's what you can do. So this is what goes on down in big bingo. Everyone's happy. Everyone getting along. Everybody singing, dancing. That's the stuff people get about it. Don't like it. That is not true. We want them to switch to life. Go over there. I have a grandma. I have a grandma. I have a grandma. I have a grandma. I have it gives them some place to go for a day a month. It's some friends, obviously. They didn't see it a long time. And I come, I think I forget about all my problems. And maybe I will, but I'm happy for the people that went. All right, that's the thing, though. All right, now this one is really, really um, dope. I think Tanika did a great job. This is our GA video. And this showcase uh, what we do at Thor Township. General Assistance is a temporary assistance for men and women who are in transition uh, or back to the workplace or on medical leave from their jobs. Our mission is to help them transition back into the workforce. We have General Assistance, which is a single we also have our resource side of general assistance, food pantry, as well as our assistants who try to help them with their food staffs to get the human services, as well as unemployment. And then we also have CEDA, homeless prevention, 
and Salvation Army. They come to us to get themselves together to go back into the workforce. Several of our clients had degrees, but like anything else here in life, we hit a stumbling block. Um, you know, at that time, we exhausted all other avenues. General Sisters is the place where you try to regroup and rebalance and look at some things differently. And then we try to assist the clients by offering our job program, going back to school, um, other resources that will help them get from go back and get in the Supervisor Hume has exposed us to new residents in the community. Marketing skills is out of this world. Uh, we were probably in 2080 township with 20% of the people who were about us. And we were saying, because the first thing people said, I didn't know who was I didn't know who was in. But now she's definitely a turn of exposure to the people up to 8020 with the building and the flyers, with the advertising on television, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Instagram, we have been exposed to more families throughout our community, which now more people have come on the road or inquired about the different programs that we have. Um, she's willing to offer different things that we offered it, but we didn't advertise the way she advertised. We kind of was reserved with some things, but she's figured out that this is our job is to help people. A lot of people come in and say, I didn't know. And she has definitely put it to me now to be and see by more people. If they come in and they find out they're not a part of the township and we send them to their township, then they have the township say, well, we offer something but not that much. And we do this, but we don't do that. So now they are coming into the pool and hey, maybe we need to start utilizing our funds in a different manner. Good man or different. We've always been in that model throughout the South Suburbs, including the whole state. We are one of the largest townships in the whole state of Illinois. We have exuded excellence in our leadership. We have exuded excellence in our services. And our residents are where we're seeing that they do not look at us on the services that we provide for them. Our whole goal is to get our clients back to work. But also, the program does work, and that is evidence from our employment that we have hired here in our township. Qualified women and the program, and so now in leadership, it does work. Um, okay, um, media, is that it? Okay, so we have a call. Who can we talk to? I'm over here with DDP, resident of Electricom, and showcase a special recipe. And then we make that item and we give products out on Friday. So this Friday you can get a fresh produce box from us of whatever that item is that we're going to cook this Wednesday. So this Wednesday, that next episode will showcase, I think it's bourbon and tacos. Um, this young lady, she did lead on. So you, we just want to show you a brief thing. I think it's like, how long is it? Two minutes? Go, go ahead. Um, you know, you... No, no, no. Go ahead. Put the video. Okay. If you're interested, all you have to do is sign up online and you can come in and showcase what our food pantry does. And these items were in um, last month's box. We did ground beef, beef, things of that nature. And she did really good things. Uh, I never did. But maybe I'll be here. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Item C. No. Yeah. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gazala? Yes. Supervisor here? Yes. So as you can see, public comment is next, so I don't know why she was saying all that. So if you sign the sheet, you have three minutes to address the body. This is called public comment. She will call your name as long as you sign in, and you can address us. Three minutes. And please be respectful of people in the crowd. This is their opinion. This is how they feel. This is what they want to say. Do uh, not go back and forth with anybody at the podium. Just let them say what they want to say for three minutes. All right. Thank you. Michael Smith. Uh, first, I wanted to ask a question. Who created this agenda? Um, this agenda is, is an agenda that I've never seen before as being an elected official. Um, it, it's very lengthy. Um, it, it's, the whole items are all put out of order. Um, just something to, to just say you guys should seek legal counsel before you put together an agenda like this. Secondly, Senate Bill 2966 was passed by Senator Napoleon Harris. It deals with township salaries. You can look up that bill. Again, the Senate Bill is Senate Bill 2966. It's already designated that all salaries are to stay in place. You can't change it. Thank you. And if you know Illinois state statute, as the supervisor said, it trumps anything that you create or do here. Um, another thing, I think that it is a good thing that we go back 10 years. When you talk about the things that were done here in Thornton Township, I, I afforded it myself. You talk about people furnishing their houses with TVs from Thornton Township, with Thornton Township credit cards, need to be investigated. You talk about the comp time that's been paid out by Thornton Township, it needs to be investigated. You talk about the raises, needs to be investigated. All of these things happened under the previous administration. I have called around and asked other townships, do you guys give bonuses? Do you pay out comp time? Do you allow your uh, employees to furnish their home, their whole houses with township funds. Not only that, you talk about the gas, okay? A lot of employees were filling up other uh, family members' uh, cars with gas. You did this Come on, we need that. We need an investigation, okay? Let's also talk about, let's also talk about Let's also talk about the different programs that was already in existence here in certain towns. But let's talk about the expense part of it. How the supervisor programs has cost less than what Frank Zuccarelli spent. We don't want to talk about that, but we need to talk about it. But it's a shame on us as individuals that only come to this meeting because y'all think that this is the group that's gonna vote. I encourage you to go throughout Thorn Township. And if you go throughout Thorn Township and you actually talk to the residents, they think you guys have a serious problem. Because they are going to elect their supervisor again. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. That in order of going to serve that plan, how you be there is going to how you Get to the street. Get to the street. Thank you. Thank you. Time is up. Don't open the door for them. That brush should come up there for everybody like that. Yeah, he will. Thank you. Okay, so what I would like to say is that all y'all come and bombard this meeting, this is for the audience. Y'all are messy, messy as hell. Y'all want to heckle Tiffany every time, or when somebody heckle that one, 
y'all want to defend her. That's when it's headway. It don't matter who the hell we heckle. So if we don't come to the meeting to heckle, let's heckle every damn body. Let's talk about her and Keith Price. Keith, whoa, Keith whoa, Freeman. Whoa, 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 man. Keith what Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the wigs that y'all talked about. He was bad for Tiffany. Those was her purchases. Let's talk about the stuff that she purchased on her man card, on her married man card. So with that being said, let's heckle. Let's heckle everybody. Let's do a heckling ass meeting. Let's not get no business done. And let's just do what we need to do. That's, that's what I have to say. You said something? OK. All right, thank you. We take care of the business, so I ain't gonna speak on the business. We ain't take care of the business. Because everybody don't act the same way. Good evening, neighbors, trustees, and special supervisors. I paid attention to our supervisor for a year now and regret that she does not pay as much attention to the people she is supposed to serve. They weren't respectful. Yes, she yes, insists yes, that she is about yes, loving on the people yes, while calling all those who criticize her haters wearing devil's hair. She stubbornly believes that she is still in control of the board meetings both here and in Dalton. She continues to campaign at our expense for another item in both governments when her constituents' biggest question is how come she is still in office. We have seven more months to endure before a new supervisor is inaugurated. So I asked the supervisor, using the words of Trustee Jones, is it too late for you to do the right thing for the people? The purpose of my comment this evening is to ask the supervisor to work with the trustees reasonably. Reason is the ability God gave humans to make us superior to the rest of the animals. Elephants and whales have a much better sense of hearing than a human. But it's ridiculous trying to ask an elephant or a whale about the best way to distribute 9 million tax dollars between 155,000 people. A dog has a much better sense of smell than a human. But if it poops inside your house, you don't expect the dog to apologize to you, nor do you expect the dog to respond to constructive criticism. By definition, an animal does not respond to reason. The only ways that humans can interact with them are to feed the animal, pet the animal, or give it a whack in the snout. This is my way of saying that the residents of Thornton Township can no longer afford the feeding and petting of the supervisor. Does the supervisor have an alternative? <laughs>
Does not a jury mean anything? Why do y'all allow why do y'all allow people to be out of the Robert Rules of Order say one yeah. person is yeah. one thing we're gonna discuss. We the side table. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I look, I was here and I saw all of this. She didn't do anything. The person up there was doing what Robert Rules of Order say is not allowed personal attacks. Like they said, you shouldn't do it. As a matter of fact, when he started talking about a dog and this and then the supervisor, yes, security should have hauled them out of there right there. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but once again, you know, why does security, where's the sergeant of arms, why don't they stop this kind of mess? Okay, that's y'all. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, no. There might be favoritism. It kind of looked yeah, a little bit like favoritism. Yeah. Wait, it was like what? Favoritism. What do you mean by favoritism? Like they allow some people to speak more than okay. others. Uh, I'm, I'm just talking about one, like Robert well, Rules of Order I mean, saying, talking about exactly. one thing that does that this exactly. and that. There are the public discussions and the public comments that started going yeah. to personal yeah. threatening yeah. or whatever attacks yeah. and it's but not allowed in a board meeting for Thornton Township, one of the 
the second largest township in America. No, I get exactly. That's what's not allowed. So where's the firebomb? Where's the security to say, Miss or Sir, you can't do that in this park. You can do it on the street, your home with your friends. But if you don't keep the cops and let them continue, and even then, it's going to be removed. It did get out of control very fast. That was the order. You're right. It was visible. You're right. Okay, it's thanks to me. Yeah, thank you. How can I? Yeah, even anybody who has a little bingo.